Okay. For find the value of dy over dx given the value of x. So it wanted to know what is the value of dy over dx and it doesn't want in term of x. No in term of x, they direct the value. So what happened is we need to find dy over dx first before we can find the exact value of dy over dx. I mean the term of dy over dx lah. So A, we have y is equal to x square minus 2x. So dy over dx is equal to, so what I say that, we bring the power forward, we multiply with the power, so here you get 2, and then we have x, and then we have to minus the power with 1. So this one is actually 2 minus 1. Okay, minus, so x is equal to actually x to the power of 1, 1 times 2, you get 2 lah, right? And then x1 minus 1 is 0. x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So here you get 2x minus 2, 1. So you get 2x minus 2. So this is dy over dx in term of x. But now we have the value of x. x is equal to half. So when x is equal to half, dy over dx is equal to so we have we know that dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 2. When we know the value of x, we can substitute 2 half minus 2. So here we get 1 minus 2, we get negative 1. Right, so this one is negative 1. So B, Y is equal to set X, 2 minus X. So we can expand this one. So X is also equal to X to the power of half times 2 minus X. So we multiply here, you get 2 X to the power of half. So X times half times, so you see here, minus X times half times X. So this one is X to the power of 1. So we actually add the power later on. So let's write it first. So 2x half minus x. So we see we add up the power. So half plus 1. So 2x half minus x. Half plus 1, you get 3 over 2. So now we can do differentiation. So we see a dy over dx. So we do term by term. So for the first term, we bring the power forward. So you see here, when you bring the power forward, actually you are multiplying the constant. So half times 2, you can directly write as 1, if you can see it. So here, the power will, will need to be minus with 1. So half minus 1. And then here, minus. So you bring the power forward, so you get 3 over 2. So x, and then you minus the power with 1. So we have 3 over 2 minus 1. So in this case, half times 2, you get 1. So x, half minus 1, you get negative half. Minus 3 over 2. x, 3 over 2 minus 1, you get x, half. So you don't want the power to be negative. It is equal to x, half, minus 3 over 2, x, 1 over 2. So which is equal to 1 over x to the power of half is equal to set x, Minus 3 over 2 and we know x to the power of half is equal to so x. So this one is dy over dx. dy over dx. Oh muas. So we know that dy over dx is equal to 1 over z x minus 3 z x over 2. So this is b when x is equal to 9. Then we can get the value of x because we know the variable of x. So 1 over set. So we substitute x with 9 minus 3 set 9 over 2. So here we get 1 over 3 minus 3. Set 9 is equal to 3 divided by 2. So 1 over 3 minus 9 over 2. So you get negative 25 over 6. So here C, Y is equal to X square plus 4 over X square. So this one is equal to X square over X square plus 4 over X square. This one is equal to 1 plus 
this one would become 4x negative 2. So when, once we get something like this, we, we can do differentiation. The power is up. We don't have the power which is below. So here we have. Uh, okay, so 1 is equal to. So we know that anything with that x will become 0. Why? Because we know that 1 is actually x to the power of 0. So in differentiation, we take the power and bring it forward. So 0 times 1, you will get 0. So here 0 plus, so this one, we bring the power forward. So negative 2 times 4, you get negative 8. You can directly write. So this one would be x negative 2 minus 1. So you get negative 8, x negative 3. So you don't want the power to be negative, which is negative 8 divided by x to the power of 3. So this is dy over dx. So it wanted to know the value of dy over dx given the value of x. So we know what is x. So we just need to substitute. When x is 2, then dy over dx is equal to, so we substitute x with 2. So negative 8 divided by 2 cubed, which is equal to negative 8 divided by 8. So we get negative 1.